Okay, this is just a very quick tutorial on stratified sampling techniques. Now, stratified sampling is just a technique of sampling that allows you to keep your sample population in proportion with your original population. Now, we have here a total population of 335. Now, we can see that from our two-way table, uh, but our sample size, we only want to be 71 people. So to ensure that we keep the population in proportion, uh, we first of all must work out what fraction uh, of each part of our population that we have. So, for example, let's first of all have a look at the number of males we might need. So the number of males that we have in our original population is 140 out of a total of 335 people. So that's the fraction of our original population uh, and our sample population is 71. So we want 71 lots of that fraction. Now, if you type that into your calculator, you get a decimal uh, that is 29.67, and it continues. Now, we can't sample uh, part of a person, so we're going to round up or, or, uh, that number to the nearest whole number, or round down as appropriate. So 29.67 is rounded to 30 for the nearest whole number. So the number of males that I'm going to sample in my population is going to be 30. Now, I know that my total population can only be 71. Uh, we're told that up here. So the number of females now can be calculated very easily. If I now just take 71, subtract 30, I can see that I need 41 females. That's the remaining number of my population left. Now let's focus on the breakdown of the number with a driving license and without a driving license. Uh, again, we're going to approach it in a very similar way. Now, we'll deal with the males first. Now, 100 of the 140 males in the original population had driving licenses. So that's my fraction. Now, we have 30 males in our sample population. Notice it's not 71 anymore. We're looking specifically at the number of males. Now, again, using your calculator, that number comes out at 21.42, uh, and the decimal continues. Uh, again, I can only have a whole number of people, so I round that number to the nearest whole number, which is 21 people. Now, since I need only 30 males, and 21 of them will have driving licenses, again, I can do a very simple subtraction to calculate the number which will not have driving licenses. 30 subtract 21 gives me 9 males. Now, we just need to repeat that process now with the female population. So, let's have a look at this. The number of females with a driving license in the original po uh, population is, as a fraction, 180 out of 195. Now, we're going to multiply that by the number of females in our sample population, and that is 41 this time. So again, using the calculator, this gives us a value of 37.84, and again, the decimal continues. So taking a whole number of people, that is 38 females with a driving license. A again, that leaves me with a very simple calculation to work out the number of not having a driving license. That's the females without a driving license. So that's 41, subtract 38, gives me just three females without a driving license that I will sample. Just to complete off the question, we're going to complete the totals for the rows. 21 plus 38 gives me 59. So in total, I'm going to have 59 people uh, who I sample with a driving license, and those who do not, 9 plus the 3 gives me 12. Uh, and a good way of just double checking that you've done everything correctly, does 59 plus 12 give me the 71? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, and that is the basis of stratified sampling techniques.